Hi, it's Rick, look, friendly handyman. How are we all doing? Yeah, um, still struggling with back and stuff like that, but you know, yeah, you know, cracking up. Anyway, this is a shed um, that I'm building. Um, very important um, with the actual shed base. Um, I'm using six by two tins on this. Um, I've installed concrete uh, feet for these, so these are concrete pads uh, that I've made, and that they've got rebar in them um, for added um, stability and strength. Um, six by two pressure treated timbers, like I just said, and for the floor of the sheds, um, I always use six by one timbers, so not just the uh, the cheap timbers that you see in sheds from the shop. This is really, really thick um, and durable. So, you know, this is a lifetime kind of shed. Now it's very important to keep your shed frame off the soil. Um, so wherever you can, when you're installing a shed, just keep it off the ground. Um, so no soil contact, because that's what helps to cause the rot in your wood. Um, now all this is off the soil. The little bits I've got to tidy up, but that's easy enough to do. Um, but We've got nylon adjustable feet here uh, to hold the shed. Um, these are adjustable. Um, you can see with a wheel on the side, so they adjust up and down. And that enables uh, me to get the shed base level uh, and true. Um, and then building the shed is no major issue after that. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna do more videos. Uh, these here, uh, I'm gonna cut these off. Um, so rather than cut to size, whatever, I can just take those off with the saw, um, dead easy. Um, yeah, so I'm going to sign off now, I've uh, got to get this floor done. I hope, hopefully get the walls uh, up as well uh, today. Yeah, so until next time, it's another one from me, local family handyman. Cheers.